You guys ever get that feeling that you're just like being watched even when you're not being watched? Not that I've had that feeling tonight or anything, but I just I just wanted to know how you feel about that. Because sometimes I feel like that, especially when I'm at work. I mean, I know there's cameras everywhere in work, but it just feels like somebody is singling in on me at some points. It kind of freaks me out. Welcome back to Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews. This review is on the Take Along DVD range. Now, what is this range? The Take Along DVD range was a range of merchandise that was introduced in 2004. Basically, what it was, was it was a package that was about the size of a couple VHS tapes stacked on top of each other. It was a big plastic box that had a character with an exclusive expression on his face in the in the take along line of merchandise if you couldn't tell by the name i'll um i'll use the thomas and the special letter take along one as an example you had your character which in this case was thomas and it had an exclusive facial expression in this case it was him shutting his eyes as he was going through the brick wall you also had a specialized piece of track from the episode in question that the play thing was based off of. In this case, Thomas and the Special Letter, he had a piece of track that had a little plastic brick wall that hooked into the track itself and could break apart into pieces. And you could roll Thomas through the brick wall, bam, brick wall's broken. You also had a DVD that contained the following. A trailer for the Take Along merchandise brand, a trailer for Thomas on Home Media, and then the episode in question. And the idea was you could act out the story with your little take-along trains as the story was playing out on your TV. It was kind of a... It was really a cool idea, actually. Because kids love to act out Thomas stories. I know from personal experience, when I was a young buck, I loved to act out Thomas stories on my train table, on my own personal layout, and kind of personalize the stories to me. I love doing that. So to have a way to actually act out the story with a specialized piece of track that featured either the brick wall, there was one with Percy Takes the Plunge that had a pond that you could put Percy in, that James and the Trouble with Trees had a tree that fell over. That was fun. That was so much fun as a kid, having all three of those. Nowadays, I have lost the uh, certain components of my take along play sets i i have no idea where the thomas is that has the expression i don't know where the track piece is i lost the brick wall pieces years ago when i was young still have the percy still have the piece of track it's somewhere here i i know it's in this house somewhere i'll find it one day maybe when i move out and then i lost the track piece for the james set but i still have the james so not a lot of pieces from those survived my childhood but enough about that Go ahead and transition into the history section of Take Along DVDs. It's going to be similar to the last HMR's history section because there are multiple products that we're going to go through here. I'm going to go through them in a rough chronological order because the wiki doesn't provide dates for all of these, which honestly pisses me off. So I'm going to say... Don't quote me on this, but I'm going to say the first release was Thomas and the Special Letter in 2004. Because Thomas is the title character. It makes sense. And it included all the stuff I talked about earlier. The specialized track piece, specialized engine, all that fun stuff. Next one is the Percy Takes a Plunge. Or Percy Takes the Plunge. Which included the pond track piece, a specialized Percy with a surprise face expression, and I think it came with a little danger sign saying, Hey, Jack, don't you fall down that water. Don't you do that, you idiot. And a little known fact about this is the episode is ripped from the Best of Percy VHS Master, meaning Ringo Starr is narrating on that DVD. Crazy that they didn't use the George Carlin version, but I don't know. I grew up on the Ringo version because of Best of Percy, so I'm partial to the Ringo version. The next one is another one that doesn't have a date for it. James and the Trouble with Trees, which included 
specialized track piece with a tree, plastic tree, that fell over and could be reset. It was bolted into the track so you couldn't lose the tree. And a specialized James that had him shutting his eyes in pain. Also, the James model had black wheels, while the OG Take Alone James had gray wheels. Don't know why I remembered that. Next one is another one that doesn't have a date for it, and one that I didn't own as a kid. Gordon Takes a Tumble. Had no idea this one existed till I was doing research uh, for this HMR and picking up some stragglers in my collection. And this one came with a Gordon model with a specialized face of Gordon looking extremely surprised. Uh, a track piece that was sloped that had two barrels at the end that you could smash Gordon into and I think the barrels could come clean off the track and they were resettable. And it also came with a go slow sign that could be stuck into the track piece. Again, did not own this one as a kid. Next one I also did not own as a kid, Henry and the Elephant. This one does have a date for it. It's from 2004. So it's from the same year as Special Letter. This one does not have good pictures with it. So it's hard to say what this actually came with. It looks like it comes with a Henry model. Obviously it comes with a Henry model, but I can't tell what the face is. I think it's him either with his grossed out face or him shutting his eyes face. I, I can't really tell. It does come with a little elephant model um, and a little plastic bit that's supposed to represent the tunnel. The track piece looks to be just a standard straight piece. But it has little areas where you could stick the tunnel piece in. If anybody owns this out there, could you tell me like uh, what that comes with? Because the wiki didn't give me a good image. And I can't find any other good images on Google. This next one doesn't have a good picture for it either. Another one I didn't own as a kid. Uh, Emily's Adventure. So this one comes with an Emily model. I can't tell if her face has changed or not. It doesn't look that way on the box. Comes with a giant ass barrel though. A giant ass purple barrel. A couple plastic cows. And a specialized track piece that has a ramp. And apparently this was a Target exclusive too. It has an only a Target sticker on the box. Alright, this picture... This picture is really bad for this last one, but... It's the only picture that I can find of it because this one is the rarest out of all of them. It's Thomas Saves the Day, based on the Season 8 um, episode, and it comes with a diesel model. Can't tell if his face has been altered or not. A cargo car and some barrels. And I think it comes with a specialized track piece where you can put the barrels beside the track. I've never seen this in person. I've never seen this set listed on eBay this one is extremely rare. It's the rarest of the bunch. It's, there's really no good pictures of that one um, that have surfaced online. If anybody owns that, uh, please let me know because I want to see what it looks like. So that's every single Take Along DVD. I mentioned earlier I do not own all of them. Missing the last two, the rarest of the two. So let's go ahead and transition into our close-up section of the Take Along DVDs. Alrighty, everybody, here's your close-up for the Thomas Take-Along DVDs. Now, before I move on, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I do not own every single one of these. I own five of them, which is the majority. I don't own the Emily's Adventure one or the Thomas Saves the Day one. Those are, those are both of the really rare ones. I own... The most common ones and some of the kind of rarer ones, but I don't own the ultra rare ones. Thomas and the Special Letters is one we're going to start off with because Thomas is number one, and this is one of the most common, one of the one of the ones I've seen pop up on eBay most often. So, Thomas and the Special Letter and a gold bar up at the top, Cartoon Thomas right next to it, right next to the hole through the disc, Thomas Friends logo next to it, and some grass around it. All all of these look exactly the same. There's literally nothing changed about them. See, it's literally just just the disc. This is my own jewel case that I added to it because these did not come with cases when they originally came in their sets. They didn't have any cases with them, so I needed to protect them. So, continuing on, Percy takes a plunge, not Percy takes the plunge. 
Don't know what the official title is. Pretty sure it's Percy Takes the Plunge, but it has now been changed to A. So, Percy Takes a Plunge in the same gold bar as Thomas in Special Letter. Cartoon Percy this time. Thomas Friends logo again, along with a grassy background. So it's just going to go by really quick, you know? James and the Trouble with Trees. This ends the really common era of these. James and the Trouble with Trees in a gold bar. Cartoon James. Hit logo with a grassy background and Thomas Friends logo. I hate that this is going so fast, but these are just really simple. Here comes the semi-rare section. Henry and the Elephant. Henry and the Elephant in a gold bar. Cartoon Henry. Thomas Friends logo. Grassy background with Hit logo. These are literally the same. And then ending out that section and and ending out this close-up, Gordon takes a tumble. Gordon takes a tumble on the gold bar. Cartoon Gordon this time. Grassy background, hit logo, Thomas Friends logo. So that's the best camera angle I could get on all five of them, but I do own five. There were seven released. Maybe one day I'll get my hands on those other two ultra rare ones. So we won't be having a menu tour for this HMR either because these don't have menus. They literally just play a trailer for the take along range. Then they play a trailer for Thomas Home Media. Then they play the story. Then they play some credits. Then they're over. Since there's no menu, we don't have a need for a menu tour. So let's go ahead and head on back and answer the five main questions as always. All right, so we're back from the close up. Now it's time to answer the five main questions as always. Number one. Where can you pick these products up? Online. It's the only place I've ever seen them. Never seen them at a pawn shop. Never seen them at like places like Half Price Books. I've only seen them online. Number two, are these products still being printed nowadays? No, not in the slightest. These have been out of date. These are all 10 years old at this point. So no, not even. Number three, should you pick these products up? I don't want to say a solid recommend because... I'm not a take-along guy. I'm, I'm not a take-along collector. I like take-along. I personally like it better than Ertl. I know. Sue me. Or don't. Because I can't afford that right now. YouTube ad revenues in the toilet. If you could not sue me, that would be nice. But I like it better than Ertl. But at the same time, though, they're not a necessity. We're not kids anymore. At least I'm not. And a lot of my viewers aren't kids either. What would we do with these? Put them on our shelf and feel better about ourselves and... What we're doing in life? Nah. You do that with action figures, you dummy. But they are a cool idea. They're a really cool idea. They're actually kind of revolutionary. I personally would love to find one new in box and give it to, I don't know, my kid on like his second birthday or something. Say, hey, I bought this for you when I was 19 and, and single before I met your mother. Here you go. Happy birthday, squirt. <laughs> so I don't want to do the coin thing again because that just, that just be repeating a dumb joke from last HMR, which was repeating a dumb joke from a previous HMR, so I don't know what to do. I don't want to say that I want to leave it up to you guys, because personally, I do not trust you guys. I have nothing personal against you all, but I do not trust your judgment, considering some of the comments I've gotten on some of my videos saying how I need to uh, review Thomas UK content and Stuff like that. No thanks. Not wasting my money on a region-free DVD player just so I can watch Tommy the Tank Train. No. Not doing that. I don't know. That'd actually be revolutionary. You know what? I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you think that people should pick up these Thomas samplers? Leave it in the comments, and majority wins. I'm not going to say whether or not I recommend it or not, because it's up to you guys. Number four. Where should you pick this product up? eBay. Number five, what prices should you pay? These are all worth quite a bit. You see the special letter and the plunge and the trouble with trees on eBay a lot. Matter of fact, I have two copies of James and the Trouble with Trees. I have one that's currently being stored in, I think it's James and the Red Balloon. I have two copies of that on DVD. The reason I bought the second copy was because the seller said it came with the CD sampler which is a rare CD, and it didn't. It came with the James and the Trouble with Trees copy. So I have two of those. Any of these, really. Um, from Special Letter to Henry and the Elephant. Those are worth about 10 to 15 a piece. Emily's Adventure and Special Letter, I'm going to go big. 40 to 50. Those are worth quite a lot, considering you never see those listed on eBay by themselves. I have saved searches 
for each of those. For the Thomas Comes to the Rescue one, I get a bunch of Rusty to the Rescues. I've never seen it listed by itself. Never seen Emily's Adventure listed by itself. I have seen, though, an Emily's Adventure listed in a lot that had about 20 other titles in it. They were all Thomas titles. I messaged the seller in my best Cy Robertson impression. Hi, you idiot. I'm interested in that there Emily's Adventure DVD. Can you list it by itself so I can buy it? I don't want all that other junk. Jack? Yeah, the seller never responded, and someone bought that lot, so I should probably clarify. I didn't say all that in the email. I was very respectful. I said, hey, I'm not interested in all the other titles. I would just like to purchase the Emily's Adventure DVD. Can we negotiate on a price, and could you maybe list it by itself so I can pay for it? Seller never responded. Someone did end up buying that lot, though, so I don't know... Who's the lucky owner of that Emily's Adventure? But if you want to get in contact with me, and you want to, you know, generously give it to me, that'd be nice. We're going to wrap it up right here. That's the end of this HMR on Take Along DVDs. Kind of a wacky one. I, I get wacky when I'm tired. It's not even that late. It's only 9.30, but I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I had the day off of work today. I saw Happy Time Murders today. If you guys didn't see that. It's pretty funny. Puppets doing obscene things like smoking, having sex. It's kind of crazy. I I enjoyed it because it, um, it appeals to my sense of humor, which is really rotten and disgusting, but also happy and dark in a weird way. So I would recommend Happy Time Murders. In two weeks, we will be back with another new HMR on Thomas's Railway Adventures. No, not the PC game. A weird take-along pack from 2014. Not take along, take and play. I get those mixed up. A weird take and play pack from 2014, which could technically qualify as a sampler. Probably got some flack for that in the comments on the Thomas Sampler HMR, even though I told you all not to do that. What is wrong with you people? Don't you listen? What happened to respect to your elders? God, country going down the toilet. Bunch of yuppies. Too much time in the subdivision. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now before I go outside and start screaming, shooting my street lamps with a shotgun. See you guys in two weeks. Good night, everybody. Don't know where the Thomas is that has the... What the... F oh, that was eBay. This history section is going to be very similar to last time's history section. Almost said last week. Wasn't last week. Ugh, that's a big yawn. <clears throat> that's a big one. I was just getting ready to talk and then just... It, it overtakes everything. You can't speak for about five minutes because you got to yawn. Here you go. Happy birthday, squirt. <laughs> oh, I go full on Kentucky when I when I'm tired, man. It's um I have to wake up early for work tomorrow. Shoot. Not a good idea. But it's fine. It's fine. We're going to soldier through. So in 2 weeks, we'll be back with another I just had a stroke there for a second. Whoop. <laughs> Rewind, fast forward, reset, set the tracking on the VCR, so you get back to it. Next, not next week, you idiot. It's two weeks. That was a voice crack. The bloopers in these last few episodes have been on fire.